Oh. You know, we were preparing for the tapings, and he never texted me back. And I'm like, we're walking by this. And I'm like, just come in and look. And he literally looks at the iPhone like it's the enemy of the people. I have multiple it. You held it with disdain. He I held, have an iPhone also. I go. The guy goes, you could do anything on this. You could text. You can make a point. You could do anything. You could write jokes. You could record your shows. And Dave goes, should we really play God? <laughs> <laughs> I had a couple of good lines. But I, I, I don't go past an iPhone 2. I, I feel like, you know, that's pushing it. Because now it's like up to 10, right? You have an iPhone 2? Like, yeah. How many are, like, how many iPhones compared <laughs> Jamie, to... Jamie burst. How many iPhones compared to how many Rocky service. movies are there? <laughs> <laughs> how many Rocky movies are there now? Because Dave Creed, is on the Mr. Creed. Creed's Creed. Creed. Rockies? Because now we have Dos Creed's. The second Creed think, is act now. I guess it is because it's working off of the actual um, narrative of Rocky. Do, do, do you hear Michael B. Jordan is talking about boxing Roy Jones Jr.? Yeah, I thought that oh, was a cool. joke. Oh, God, I hope it's a joke. Just straight up boxing, not yeah. like a Muay Thai? Listen, don't do that, Michael. Just don't do that. I'm, I'm sure he's a great athlete. He's a beautiful kid. He's got a great body. Looks like he knows how to box. When he throws punches, it looks like he really actually knows how to box. I'm sure he's a really good athlete. He's built like a brick shit house. Right. But boxing Roy Jones Jr. is a preposterous yeah. you don't idea. know how to get hit. What's the upside? Dude. You never work again or you become a boxer? You, you hang in there with him and you look like a hero. I mean, you, you clip them and hurt them. I mean, it is it is a humanly possible thing. Right. Like when two people are throwing punches at each other, that one of them can hit the other guy. But the downside, is, the downside is just ruined. Roy Jones Jr. is one of the greatest boxers of all time. Mm -hmm. And still, to this day, knows how to box. It's not like he forgot. How he old just, is he? He's pushing 50. He's 49. Yeah, he's pushing fifty. Do you think? Do you and think somebody, did someone challenged him? Whose idea was it? I think he was just talking shit. He was just probably being asked, like, "Who would you like to box? Who's yeah. your hero?" I How many rounds that. though? Exactly. Did that have to go a certain oh, amount? There you go. What yeah, did it? What it exactly just happened? Like that. He said he would. He asked him, "Who? Who would you want to fight today?" And he said, "Roy Jones. He would probably beat me in his prime, but I'd probably fight him today." Probably just like oh, that. Oh, that so. is an outrageous thing to say. Just an asshole thing to say. It's it's says it's George Foreman. Listen, it's, it, he probably would kill you in his prime. I mean, the idea that he would just beat you. I mean, Roy Jones Jr., when he was in his prime, you were just waiting to see. He was in a, a Nas song. They said Roy Jones is in the new Mike Tyson's Roy Jones. It's in, this is like in, in the 1990s. <laughs> people forgot how good Roy Jones Jr. was. He was putting his hands behind his back and then knocking people out. He was doing ridiculous shit. He knocked out light heavyweight champion Virgil Hill with a body shot. Do you want to hear it so we, so we can hear the context? Okay. Because it's only a <laughs> Sure, clip. let's listen to it. Let's so I heard that you, after all your training for the Creed movies, yeah. you can hold your own in a fight. I mean, I can do my thing a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I've been working out with Rocky, I've been working out with, like, you know what I'm saying, like Apollo Creed. I'm doing my thing. Absolutely. So now, who all time would you want to step into the ring with? Whether it's a boxer, wrestler, UFC Man. fighter, anybody? Like Roy Jones, bro. Roy Jones. Roy Jones. That's my dude, bro. You think you can hold your own? I feel like I can do my thing a little bit. Yeah. I can hold my thing right now. In his prime, nah, he'll probably knock my ass out. But like right now, I can do my thing. Why answer Ooh, that question? That's a yeah, well. Listen, he was. Uh, hey, Joe, were you funnier than George Carlin in his prime? Can you well, just answer right that now, in the middle right of a now, street right I now? Could do my thing. <laughs> right now, since he did. I know you've had a few drinks in the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> can I ask you the coke. worst question? Let me tell you, you something right now. I'm on coke, <laughs> cocaine. Let me answer some questions. I'll fuck Roy Jones Jr. up. <laughs> That, but but he, he said, said he was there, training with Rocky. That was the best part. And Apollo Creed. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't even know their names. <laughs> he doesn't know. The old dude. The old dude. The black guy the black guy. I, I mean, I loved him coach. in uh, Black Panther, too. He's awesome. He plays a good superhero. He's plays a great a bad guy. guy. I love his movies. He was a good bad guy in that movie. But, you know, it, it's like, you just shouldn't answer that. Just made a mistake. Yeah. You know, young, cocky, full of life. Looking Everything's for going well. You know, <laughs> and again... Built like a goddamn superhero. Probably yeah. thinks he could box the world. This is a different thing that's going to be happening if you're standing in front of Roy Jones Jr. It's a different thing. He's, he's got a computer that's many, many times you bring Roy Jones. more robust than yours when it comes to boxing. But just taking the punishment, it's not like, you know, it's like, okay, that's uh, enough. See, what if Roy is, Jones Jr. just gives you a concussion and you never act oh my again? God. What's the upside for you? He can tee up on By him. the way, a 50-year-old boxer looks at this actor, pretty boy, and it's oh like uh, when they brought... Yeah. The, when they brought um, What's his name? Out of the box in Pulp Fiction. Yeah, I mean he's Jack though. Look at him. Dude's built like a seriously built like a wow. superhero. But see, the thing is, like, 
there's such a giant difference between learning how to box and being a good athlete like he clearly is and being Roy Jones Jr. The 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 gap is so wide. It's so it's like if I did a, a movie about p- playing basketball and then I wanted to you know play a one on one versus Kobe Bryant. You know I've been playing this movie for a couple of years, man. I'm feeling <laughs> uh-huh. good. I'm feeling good even though I never did any competitive basketball plan. Like you were in the white shadow or something. It looks like he got beat up. It's <laughs> he's like he's a movie. <laughs> he's a movie star, bro. He's got fake blood on his well, that, welts. That, that was in the movie. I'm sure he knows how to throw his hands. I'm sure he does. He looks good in the movies. He looks like he really knows what he's doing. But Roy Jones Jr. is one of the greatest of all time. He was a phenom. He knows how to box in a way that you're never going to understand. So how long has he been since he boxed? Ten years? I mean... Roy Jones had a fight within the last two years. Well, I think his last fight was, I want to say it was two, less than two years ago. I think he retired. He had a bunch of fights over in Russia. He actually became a Russian citizen. This year? Is that it? This year. This year. Uh, Jesus February. Christ. Play some of it. Oops. Play, so he's play, not just play, challenging play so can, a retired he's, boxer. Dude, he's challenging he's, a boxer. He's fucking Roy Jones Jr., all right? Just... This is a different thing. It's one thing if you're like a top level pro right now wow. and you feel like you would have got knocked out by Roy in his prime, but you can give him a go right now. Okay, that I, that is that's believable. You're a professional boxer. You've been honing your craft in the gym for years and years. You've been sparring and working with high level coaches. Look at him. He's still Roy Jones Jr. Still Roy Jones Jr. Even though he's forty, I mean, he's come still on, boxing. Man. It doesn't matter. He's, I mean, he's boxing. And one's an actor. Good. One's a boxer. But Roy Jones is in a boxing match here, and he's looking good. Right. I mean, he's obviously not fighting a guy who's the best in the world. So if you're Roy Jones Jr., do you call your, your agent right now? And yeah, go, he's already been saying it. See he's if the kid's serious. It. What's yeah. the money? I'll do it. He's already been doing all these interviews. Yeah. He said, like, I don't want to get out, out of bed early in the morning, but if, if, you know, if he wants to really do this, we could do this. I mean, for Roy really Jones, cool. it would be a, a wonderful opportunity to show people what boxing is all. Oh, let me see what he said. I would love to see that. <laughs> here, let's hear what Roy says. Of course, I saw the video. First thing is, you know, I never ducked a fight in my life. I don't duck nothing, right? Never. No, I ain't running from hurricane when they come down here. So I ain't running from nobody. If Michael B. wants this for real, contact Roy Jones Jr. and we will make it happen. Yeah, see? You got my number, he can contact you and get my number. So there's no question about how can I find <laughs> No, you know how to find Roy. I've been already be apologizing. Get Roy's number from TMC, let's make it happen. Roy, now he said in the video, he said, I think he would probably have killed me back in his prime. True, that's true. <laughs> How about now, though? Do you actually well, give him any chance to beat you now, even though you are 49, Roy? I, don't, I know he can't beat me still because, I mean, I know he's probably in better condition because he's younger and he though he can go, probably think he can go longer and probably thinks he may be able to even outwork me now. But I'm a vet. I'm an old school That's vet. That's right. <laughs> old school vet ain't going out like that. To have the heart to come in the ring with me, I love it. You understand me? So I, I want him to understand what boxing is. So I'm not out there to just take him out right away because then he don't get the experience of the boxing. Uh, I'm a professional like I am, and I know he's big and strong because he got stronger for the movie. Then I should be able to board all that, take him in that deep water so he understands what a boxing match really uh, is. So yeah, he's so he comes do. out. He don't want quite to say, oh, I got knocked out the first round. He so wouldn't I don't give know. his whole No, 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 no. I'm not laying you off that easy. I'm going to need five, six rounds at you. So I want you to see how it really feels. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm talking like that. Not because I think he can really match my skills. I really don't. Even at 49. How long would you need, Roy, to get right to where you could step in there? Like, what's the soonest we could make this fight happen? I uh, probably need, for him, about four or five weeks. It's on. <laughs> it's on. Michael, please listen to me. Don't do this. Someone call Stub Hub. Just don't do this. <laughs> this, this is not going to work but, out well. Especially if they're, I would assume both of them are not going to be drug tested. Mm-hmm. If I had a guess. <laughs> I don't think either one of them wants to pee in a bucket. <laughs> and uh, if they if they just let Roy, <laughs> they let Roy go to Dr. Feelgood and, yeah. and pump him up with hormones, this is going to be a route. This would be terrifying. Imagine this M- is Michael a new ca- getting that call from his agent. Hey, uh, we have an offer for you to do this like new superhero movie. It's going to be amazing. And Michael's like, ah, I'm, I'm booked that whole five mm-hmm. weeks. Yeah, I got it Wait, for what? five weeks. I got to train for Roy Jones Jr. Like, don't 
do it. But this, this is a new this ego. is a new genre of TV show of the real guy versus the guy who played it in the movie. <laughs> well, I want to see doctors against guys who played a doctor. I want to see astronauts against guys who would think they're an astronaut. I want to see it all. Tom versus John Glenn. Yeah. Navy SEAL from a movie versus yeah. real Navy Dinosaur SEAL. Dinosaur versus chicken. I want to see it. Isn't that what Mark Wahlberg said if he was on the plane? Would yeah. Down? Oh. Spy versus... Did he, did he really say that, though? Yeah. That's what everybody says. Oh, he said, I, I never heard.